everyone welcome to my channel for those who are new here my name is Laura and I'm so excited to share this week's video with all of you today in this video I will show you new tips and tricks what you can do in Canva so sit back relax and let's get started Canva prototype start by creating a new design in Canva and select the prototype option from there you can choose from a variety of pre-designed templates or start from scratch next you can add elements such as buttons links and forms to your design to create an interactive prototype. Finally, you can share your prototype with others to gather feedback and make improvements. It's a good tool for web developers and also for clients to show how the website will look like. Next one, generate brand colors. You can use Canva to generate colors for your brand. Open Canva and click on the brand tab on the left hand side of the screen and then select brand kit. Under the color section, you can choose from Canva's pre-made color palettes or create your own custom palette by selecting add a custom palette and choosing your colors. But there's another option where you can use Canva's color palette generator. This tool helps you to generate a color palette based on an image. You can choose any picture that inspires you. When you're done choosing, insert the image in Canva. Once again, go to brand section. Under the logos, we will insert our photo. Choose your image from the files and under colors you can see our new color palette. You can keep it if you like or you can remove it. Next feature is blending multiple images. I will blend three images together and to each of them I will have to apply a gradient effect multiple times. Apply gradient effect multiple times until you like the result. Download the image and repeat the same steps for the next image. Upload both images on Canva and add them together in a new project. For the top image, we need to apply transparency. If you like the result, download the image. Insert back to Canva downloaded image. And let's adjust some contrast to our image. Once again download it and insert it back to Canva. Now let's add together our last image with the last one we just downloaded. We will repeat our previous actions and apply transparency. If you like the result, download it. And the final step in the new project, insert the last image you just downloaded and click on edit image. Adjust the brightness and everything else. And if you like the result, it's ready for the use. And like always, thank you for watching.